What is up guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today is going to be a Brown County video, and the next probably four, five, six videos you're going to see are also Brown County videos. Somehow I lost some of the footage from this. I think I lost probably four or five fish. I'm guessing they were most, mostly bluegill, but yeah, that's about it. And enjoy what I have left of the video. you guys a whole lot when I'm fishing with my dad or someone uh, but I've caught two bass three bluegill and one red ear uh, so I'm just gonna give you guys a rundown on like what it's been so far so this pond is a really deep drop off I know it's almost 30 feet deep in the middle um, <coughs> um I've noticed that there's little size to the bass the biggest bass we caught here in our last day and this day combined was probably 14 or 15 inches and we've caught but the bluegill are the total opposite i've caught three bluegill and the smallest one was eight inches and then the red ear was probably seven and a quarter so i don't know we'll see if we can figure something out i think i'm gonna go bluegill fishing real quick and uh i think i'm going to keep a couple of them for catfish bait tonight and then maybe some evening bass fishing but We'll see. My dad was catching them on an inline spinner so far. I've only used worms and uh, little trolling spoons that you saw me catch that red ear on. But that's just a little rundown for you guys. Uh, really enjoying it here. And hopefully we can get some good stuff. Oh, there's a bite. Got one. He's still on there. Feels alright. It feels like a gill though. Eh. Oh jeez, he's fighting real good. Oh, big old gill. I got him hooked like in the eye, but he obviously probably went for it. Jeez, oh peace. That's probably nine inches, guys. Jeez, guys, look at that thing. That's got to be nine inches. I'm going to put them in a little back pouch here and paddle back and probably measure. All right, guys, I'm back out on the water. Took a quick uh, second to measure that fish. Uh, he ended up going exactly nine inches. That's what about what I estimated him. My dad thought he was gonna go nine and a half, but he ended up only going nine on the dot. But I'm going back out to the spot now. Hopefully it stays nice and calm so I can just stay on this spot. I don't have an anchor with me right now. But we're gonna see. I thought I was gonna have to keep that fish because I hooked him like in the eye. It was really weird. I'm sure he went after it though. Um because, I mean, the worm was just sitting there. But anyway, we're going to cast back in here, see if we can't get a, another big bluegill or bass or red ear or hybrid bluegill catfish. This pond's got a decent spread as far as species go. But we're going to see if we can't get a couple more. And I'll let you guys know when I get one. Oh, got one. 
right there on the top of the game. There we go, that's better. Fight Monkey Gill. We'll see that. Doesn't feel huge. Oh, what is that actually? It's pretty good. Oh, big old gill. Oh, yeah, that's another nice one. He's probably eight and three. Oh, dude, he's nine for sure. I believe that one's a hybrid, to be honest with you. Grab my tape measure on the flies. Alright, we're gonna measure him real quick. And I bet he'll go nine and a quarter. He's He's real, he's not as tall as the other one, but he's, yeah, that hurts, that hurts, that hurts. Um, he's real long though. They sure got some sharp fins in here, which is never too fun. He might not even be nine. Oh, never mind. This one's only eight and a half. It's quite a bit off on my little guess there, but I mean, he sure does look longer than the other one. That could just be me, but oh, massive turkey up there. I don't know if you guys could hear that. Jeez, I think that scared me, but we're going to get him back. Uh-oh, he don't look great. Oh, nope, there he goes. He's a bit slow. I was getting worried, but we're going to try this back below the cove and then fish the other shoreline. And then I think I'm going to grab some dinner. Hopefully I can catch a couple smaller ones to keep for catfish bait for tonight. But if not, I'll just have to keep one of the bigger ones. But that in that case, I only have to keep one or two of them. All right, got hit. Oh, got him. That one's smaller. Oh, yeah. He'll be perfect catfish bait. First small-ish one, although it's still probably six and a quarter inches. So he's still pretty close to a keeper. So out of curiosity, we'll measure him. But I'm going to throw him in the back storage area here. There'll be some good bait. Don't feel too bad about keeping him just because uh, he's smaller. And at the same time, he's big enough to uh, give me a few pieces of bait. So he's perfect. And we're just going to cast, keep casting around here. Did you listen to those frogs. Whew. Got one. That's a nice, that's a nicer fish. Oh, it's a bass. There we go. Same size, a little smaller than other ones we've been catching. He's probably about nine inches or so. All right, guys, nine and a half inch bass. Going back. There he goes. Oh. This one's not very really big. That's, that's, oh, what is that thing? That's a, that's a red ear. Nice. Just a little red here. You know, we'll use him for bait. I'm about to throw him back, but I think we're gonna need another one. All right, guys. Here's a uh, red ear, or yeah, red ear and normal bluegill. I'm gonna chop them up and send them out. See if we can't get any catfish. I've hiked over to a spot on shore. 
the boat motor's dead, so we're just gonna rock with this for tonight. Try the boat another night, but we got the good bait and we're gonna give it a little bit, see what happens. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed what I found that was left of the video. Um, make sure to smash that subscribe button and hit the thumbs up for me. Helps get in my videos recommended to other people. And as always, thanks for watching.